But yeah, it's fairly simple. I do enjoy it. This mix of soil costs about $12 with everything. Uh, this bin I already had through moving because I packed everything in bins so it's easier to uh, stack and organize. So after I was done unpacking, I decided to use them for other things. I do also have, um, I, when I first started my compost, I started it in a bin like this. So I just layered it up and up and up. You could do the same thing. I've done it in an apartment. I've done it in a rental house. You don't really need that much space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven plants. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water. And this is the tray that I place everything on. So I'm going to just be uh, leaving that there for a moment. And we'll put some seeds in there. Maybe I'll go for even eight, even though I'm not truly planting them out. I need to really look at what I'm doing. Focus for a moment. One more. And this tray I actually got from a birdhouse that I found on the side of the street. But I had it for like eight years. Well, that's a long time. Like four years. And uh, this is eight. <laughs> okay, slow it down. So I'm going to go grab some water and water these and then plant the seeds. All right, so my watering can that I had outside already had lots of water in it. Like that much water. So... I'm going to just start getting these watered in. And then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit to soak soak up. Um, this water is probably going to soak up from the bottom too. So I'll just leave it there for a moment. And um, seeds to plant. My calendar of things, not really a calendar, but... I went through and wrote, wrote everything down that I needed to um, plant within a certain amount of time. So there's three pages front to back of plants and a Shasta daisy. This takes eight weeks before the last frost. I cover with one eighth inch of soil. Keep moist at 70 degrees and days to emergence so um even though i don't know everything at one time once i can research further then i write it down so i'm going to start with that so these are white flowers these i got my seeds from different places this came from the dollar tree so it's affordable right um then says one eighth inch this is how it's done it's really quite simple these are my seeds and then I tear a little piece up here at the corner so this is eight of them I'm gonna probably pack some more soil on top of these because they got a little bit weird yeah the water feels good inside of there though but if I want the level to be as high as possible, I just have to add more soil. But the water settles it. But at least I know it's good and soaked in all the way through. Because once you add the seeds and water it again, it'll be like it'll move and the seeds will get lost, which makes it go further underground. Well, under the dirt, and then it'll be um, harder for it to emerge out of the soil. Excuse me as I clean my hands because I don't want to get mud on my fingers. And before you start to move your seeds, dry your hands because your seeds will get caught to your fingers. And then it'll be harder to place them exactly where you want them. So I'm just sprinkle a little bit more soil on top of there and pat it down. And I think because it's one eighth inch of soil... It's really not, that's her, that's like a sprinkle of soil. So I might just leave them right on the top of the surface. It's really like based on your own um, experience. So 
if you're new to doing this, definitely take your time and um, get it exactly how the, the container says. I'm going to also use my judgment once I open the packet and see how big the seeds are and I'll know how much. So like this, you have to break down because that could stop the seed from germinating. So I'm just patting these in and I'll do a, another rinse off once they're um, in there really good. Like this, I should have taken this out right here, right? If I water this and the seeds go into that area, they won't germinate. It's too big. I'm going to save this to the side and show you how big the seed is in comparison. And if it's not that seed, it, it could be another seed. So just in case, start, start good practices. So just a little bit. And I did this last year. I just, I didn't do quite so many flowers and I didn't do it based on a strict calendar like I'm going to do this time because I was really just growing. Lots of times when I grow, it's to learn. <laughs> I've been doing this for four years and now it's, uh, is it four or six years I've been growing. This is no good. So six years I've been growing and... I'm really happy with my progress. So, you know, if I want to continue to grow, I have to just keep practicing. I like sandwiches. I like sandwiches.